Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to a new video in Japan. And today we're gonna to go thrift shopping at the biggest hard off in Tokyo. It's located in Hachioji. It's about an hour by train from Shinjuku. And you can see behind me, they have everything. Liquor off, book off, hobby off. I mean, you can find a bunch of stuff from luxury bags, consoles, video games, uh, vintage clothes. So we're gonna explore all that, but don't expect, you know, to come. I want to manage your expectation. Don't expect to go there and then find super cheap prices because they have a smart team. They know what's valuable, but uh, it's our job as resellers to find, you know, those you know vintage products that we can resell. Uh, anyway, if you like the video, you know, put a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll do, uh, you know, more videos like this and activate the bell. Let's explore. Let's start with consoles right away. Uh, Sega Saturn 4. Uh, $50, let's say, let's run it up, $50, Nintendo 64, 50 as well, they look in pretty decent condition as well, uh, you have some with uh, boxes if you want to, this is uh, Super Famicom with four controllers for $70, $60, um, we got some GameCubes, for around $60 as well. Oh, we got a cool one with Sega Saturn with the box and uh, I guess the white color from Japan, 70, you can see right here. Uh, more GameCubes, as you can see right here. We got some Sega as well. The 16 bit. For, this one is a bit more expensive, it's about $90. Uh, complete PlayStation 3, $19. And then we have PlayStation 3, 3, 3, 3. And then some PlayStation 2 as well. Right away, right here. Uh, for this, and then we'll go to the junk box afterwards. And then if you turn around, usually in the windows, well, these are the most expensive one. You have a uh, electronic game space attack for ninety dollars. Um, game of players. So the music is a bit loud, as always. And we got more. We get some more uh, games. So we got Nintendo DS for about sixty dollars. So you see, it's it's still a little bit expensive. So you gotta really look maybe in the junk over there if you can find some. Good stuff. You get the Game Boy Nintendo uh, Lite for this one is $150. Uh, we get uh, Hello Kitty Game Boy Lite for $130. Uh, rare Game Boy Color $90 with you get a uh, Pikachu and I forgot the name of this one right here. No Game Boy Lite $70. Also, you see at the bottom they have like, some Japanese, you know, katakana and uh, kanji. You can Google translate them just to know if there is any problem with with the Game Boy or not. There's one over there with the box as well. That's not too bad actually. Over there. Yes, yeah, so the grape one, and it's like sixty dollars with the box. So uh, it's not too bad. Of course, you wanted to get it at a cheaper price if you want to resell. And then you We got some more Nintendo consoles right here for about hundred dollars. Most of them, and they look in like the family computer. They look in pretty decent shape, to be honest. Um, more games as always. Something else. We have a cool Mewtwo here for twenty dollars. Um, um, we go back to we got some PS. Uh, Vita right here. That's pretty much it. And some controllers. Um, so you can see here you have all Super Famicom games everywhere with boxes as well. You have the Famicom games, uh, Nintendo 64. And then in this window you have some... Oh well. Let's put it like the way the expensive uh, Game Boy Colors and Game Boy games. Uh, so you got Street Fighter right there, it's about $25. Uh, you got Wizard Empire right here, I don't know if I can trade for $30. Uh, 
uh, Prince of Persia in Japanese for forty dollars. As you can see, uh, Robocop two for twenty five dollars. Uh, and the uh, last Bible too. This one is twenty dollars. It was only, I think, it only came out in Japan. Contra for forty dollars as well. Uh, I think this is Tomato Adventure. Also, only came in or oh, Jaleco. No, not Jaleco is the company. Um, Burger. I don't know this one. We got some Nite expensive Nintendo sixty four as well. We got a Game Boy with Dragon Ball. More Game Boy Color games. Uh, and then we got well, the Pokemon games in Japanese. So you can see it's about $25. And they sell quite well online, actually. Uh, people sell them for like $35 plus shipping. And this is for well, the green and red. Uh, pretty popular, actually, online. I don't know why, but pretty popular. And more Game Boy Advance games. Uh, the oh, blue Pokemon as well. Uh, I'm trying to see if I remember Aladdin. And we have a one sixty dollars. I don't know what is this game. I'm not too sure. Okay, and you have one Sonic as well for twenty dollars. They sell for about thirty dollars online. But if you want to find maybe some cool Game Boy games with boxes as well, well, you have a lot right here. And usually the expensive one they have a you know stop lock <laughs> so they know they know it's it's valuable but if we take a look at it so this one is one piece uh, live animation is three dollars they sell about ten dollars online let me try to zoom in this one is ten dollars uh, a gaiden uh, you got more here Mm. Up. Mario Tennis for $5. Oh, $3 games. Yeah. What else do we got? We got some Pokemon as well. $5. You see, that they're not too expensive, but I mean, if you want to resell, it's definitely too expensive. But if you want to just to I'd say to to just collect and just for your collection or you feel nostalgic about you know the past you get a Kirby as well three dollars so it's definitely worth it but other than that if you want to resell I it's better to go to the flea market I give you an example so here's a, a kicks game it cost literally twenty dollars and I bought it at the flea market for a dollar so I don't know why this one is so expensive because online it barely sells for ten dollars. Um, that's more games right there. Any hammering Harry, for example? Uh, nope. To Kabuto, no. They're about five dollars. Uh, let's look at the boxes if you want. So uh, let me zoom in. Come on. Okay, we got the One Piece boxes, Royal and Two for ten dollars. Um, more Game Boy games. We got the uh, Pokemon one for three uh, thirty dollars. Forgot if it's silver this one. Um, more games, more games. Uh, let's take a look at some of the boxes. Donkey Kong for. Come on, for eighteen dollars. Uh, okay, Super Warrior Land. More Mario. Uh, Lagron Heroes. All Japanese games. So if you really look around, probably you can find something that that you like. You have some baseball games as well. I'm sure you can find something from your childhood. Especially I think the Mario games they sell really really well. 
Uh, and then we have more here as well. These are the expensive, I guess, uh, Game Boy Advance. So we can see again Pokemon again. The Pokemon are very valuable here. Uh, Dragon Ball. Then we got more here, here as well. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Five. And then you got some for eight dollars. Oh, you got a, a James Momo. Double seven. Everything. Oh, nothing. For ten dollars. A bit less than ten dollars. So. Dragon Quest. And then you have some with the boxes as well. So what do you think? Rockman Zero Three. Oh, twenty dollars. Anything interesting? Oh, is that the is that Clona? I'm not sure. I mean, there's a rare PS1 game. Let me double check, maybe. I'm gonna double check this one, maybe. It's about, oh, it's forty dollars, so it must be it must be something. I think I see this one is like a rare PS1 game. And of course, you get you know more games. You got a High Potter, thirty dollars. Uh, some Dragon Ball. Just look around. And oh, that's pretty cool. That I would definitely buy, for example. Taken. Because I played that during my childhood for a very long time, so this one could be a buy. It's $15, a bit expensive to be honest, but I'll think about it. Maybe one I might buy today. So, uh, Master. Okay, can I zoom in? Yeah, Master Karateka for $5, and it sells about. Uh, I guess 20 to 25 dollars online, so you make five, four, five times the profit. But I mean, there's only the cartridge, and I mean, it's, it's really good condition, though. But uh, uh, something I have to think about it. Okay, well, last thing for the games you have the Famicom games, you can also see the locks. Uh, these are about like three dollars to fifty dollars. Um, you got the boxes as well. You got the PlayStation 1 games. As you can see, for example, Tom Rider for $10, Street Fighter 2, and you have more, more, more games. And it goes all the way there where you have more Famicom games with boxes, which is pretty cool. Uh, more Famicom. You got Sega Saturn games, and that's just only one part of the store. Um, and then we continue more Famicom. We got DVDs in front, Mega Drive games. Then uh, we can go around. We got some Nintendo 64 games. Three dollars, for example. So you can look around if you know like what uh, Nintendo 64 games are valuable. You can uh, go around, and also they have. You know, a lot of boxes actually in decent condition, some of them, for the Super Famicom. Uh, right over there and over there. Uh, but again, as I'm telling you, if you're just, you know, one time in Japan and you're just collecting things, then definitely you could, you could buy there. But if you want to resell, I advise to go to the flea market for sure. So it could take uh, like $10 with the box, it's not that bad. Uh, we go back to the Donkey Kong again. Ten dollars with the box. Super Mario World. Yeah, it's kind of cool. About uh, seventeen dollars with the box. Street Fighter Two, but I think there's a problem with this one. Maybe no manual. Um, Super Mario Kart. Donkey Kong. That's pretty cool. This very nice as well. Uh, 1992, made in Japan, for use only, only in Japan. Looks pretty dope. More games, more games, more games. 
currently and then we can go all around again and then you have even more games xbox 360 uh we got nintendo ds everywhere uh, i mean it's huge possession 2 games if you want to find like games like kun for example or you know like tobal 2 or not tobal 2 is playstation 1 but if you want to go through all those games and try to find something valuable then you know do so and then here we have some rare and expensive uh, sega saturn games um trying to go slowly with the camera it's a bit shaking oh you got uh street fighter edition marvel hero super heroes uh it is uh oh, 50 dollars so a little expensive though but also it's a rare game and then uh, more uh playstation 2 games oh this one they sell online i saw this game online i think they sell for 10 15 dollars if i i'm not mistaken the hack I think only came out in Japan. I think it's Hack 1 or Hack 2 only came out in Japan. This one is also uh, maybe only came out in Japan. Can't remember the name though. Something with Samurai or something. Uh, anyway, let's put back this game. I'm gonna try to do that. And then you got some Biosa for $5. Uh, anyway, and but you can, but I'm gonna show you other things because uh, I'm spending a lot of time in the game. You also get the you know King of Fighter 2002 unlimited match, and this one is, I think online is. So this is thirty dollars here, but I think online is easy seventy. I think I think, yeah. and they have a different cover as well that goes for a hundred dollars or more. Um, yeah, that's pretty much. It. I think they also have a Dragon Ball right here. But this one is not the exact version, so it's only three dollars. But uh, I think that's not the right cover or the right game. In the junk, you can see, have a lot of uh, you know, you can take parts of PlayStation ones. Uh, usually, you have a lot of, I guess, uh, controllers. Uh, for example, right here, and the music is got them now. Uh, they're usually yeah, hundred for the other, but less than a dollar sometimes. Uh, some works, some don't. This one is five dollars. It depends on the color, of course. You have a bunch of controllers that you can uh, collect, whatever, if you like a certain color. Uh, Three dollars forty. So you really have to check their conditions because some of them are really, really bad. They have. You can see the position is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes. Um, oh, PlayStation, there's like six or seven of them in there. Uh, we are coming back with the Wii games. We got some PS3 games. Uh, yes. Uh, we got some PlayStation 1 games. More PlayStation 1 games. Uh, oh, can, oh, no, Sega Saturn and PlayStation as well. So these, let's take your uh, Turbo 1. Let me try to get it out. I know Turbo 2 was... Uh, it didn't come out out of Japan, so... Okay, okay. It's in decent condition, the box and everything. Maybe I could buy them for a dollar or so. Hopefully it works, but... Um, more PS1 games. Winning at about 97. Uh, more and more and more. PSP games, PSP games. PSP as well. More PlayStation games. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, you can find it literally everywhere here. Uh, again. Some golf. And then we got more. Uh, CDs, we got some, well, it's quite empty actually, the Super Mario Famicom, you get some bunch of junk here, we got Nintendo DS, some Game Boy games, but these are like, got some boxes, but these are like the really shitty, shitty, uh, shitty games. Uh, 
Got some more Famicom, Famicom. Super Famicom as well. These are the same. Some DVDs. Anyway, a bunch of junk show. If you come here, just, just have fun and, and uh, look around. As you can see here, you have Bukov and Obihoff. We'll go there after for uh, books. Well, if you read Japanese, if you don't, well, it's not very used. But for toys and figurines, we'll go upstairs. They have uh, one, two, three, four floors. And then, uh, like over there, you have uh, Off House and Mod Off. Well, technically, for vintage clothes and everything related to the house. And also, I have like uh, luxury bags and everything. It's, I mean, it's, it's freaking huge. Like, literally. Let's put a bit of alcohol and you can see like full bags, I mean for whatever, if you're a bag lover or whatever, I mean you have pretty much like everything. You can see all the clothes right there. Uh, again, I mean, it's every single wear. And then you have also kind of a, not hidden spot, but if you are really into luxury bags and everything, well, this is the place for you with uh, glasses, watch, uh, watches and uh, bags. And you have pretty much everywhere, but I'll do separate videos on that with, with my girlfriend because she, she loves those, you know, those luxury brands. So we'll come back to that. But first let's go to the second floor for vintage clothes. All right, if you are into vintage retro clothes, this definitely uh, you have a lot of clothes like made in USA right here. Uh, it's freaking huge as well. And uh, over there you have also uh, bins. So I think if I can show you quickly. And you have blue section, yellow section, red section. And there's 50 cents per gram, 2 yen per gram. Yeah, or oh, 0.5 yen per gram. 2 yen per gram and 1 yen per gram. Blue, yellow and red. And then you can uh, put them into those scales and uh, buy them. So I don't know, maybe there, maybe there are some gems in all of that, some vintage clothes, I'm not sure, but maybe I'll take a look after. But first, take a look at this one. Well, definitely you can look at the first one right here. We got a big Harley Davidson logo. It's, let me zoom in if I can, made in USA, a uh, shirt from the 90s with the tag. And it has single stitches, single stitches, and a single stitch as well here. So definitely uh, worth some money. And it's about uh, $55. Holy crap, that's expensive, yes. So uh, definitely made in USA, single stitch, and big logo. You can find a lot of vintage uh, Converse shoes as well. Um, yep, some lighters if you want to. Made in Andreas MV Sport. Let's take a look at maybe here some uh, night uh, Adidas. So I guess I find two vintage Nike clothes, so you got the orange logo. However, the tag is really messed up and we cannot see if it's made in USA. It's about $40. Uh, looks in, looks kind of pretty cool actually. Check it. And also you have, you know, some pants uh, with also the orange swoosh. Uh, it's made in Japan though, made in Japan, but good quality as well. Definitely uh, vintage. The others are made in China or, uh, yeah, all made in China or made in Indonesia or, or, or Malaysia. Uh, let's take a look at other shirts. Yeah, we could got some cool ones. Signet Sportswear, $40. Pretty cool. 1996 with the date as well. Yeah, the date on the sweater is very important. However, you the quality is really, it's really washed. It's not so good. Get more here. Uh, you got a lot of, uh, you know, kind of American college sweaters made in USA over there. 
uh, we got some champions also men champions also uh, a couple made in USA and uh, you have the dates on the shirt some cool shoes Adidas uh, well that's uh, made in Vietnam but it looks kind of cool with kind of a soda pizza with the smileys as well covers uh, cool uh, Lewis jacket hundred and fifty dollars San Francisco quality it's a S version though nice be not double stitch as well so probably these ones are not not from the 90s and stuff you have a cool one here for hundred uh, well, $1,200, something like this. Cool poster of Kiss. Red jacket. Real leather. And anyway, you have more and more. You have some red wing shoes. Okay, I found a really nice tee. Uh, single stitch. Uh, so, brand of Chase. It looks pretty cool. It's a huge logo as well. Um, it is his authentic, so I think from the 80s or 90s, probably 80s or 90s, I'm not sure. And also, you can see, but well, it's very small. I'm trying to get it. Ah, I can get it. Anyway, you can uh, somewhere here. Up, I got it. It's also made in USA, so this is definitely both authentic. It looks in pretty good condition. The logo is huge. Look at the back as well. That's definitely a nice piece, but it's uh, forty dollars. So hey, uh, if there was in a flea market, I'll definitely buy that. But here, a bit too expensive. So next section, music. So if you're definitely a music lover, well, you have some cool guitars. Uh, Adamas by Ovation. So this is ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, four thousand dollars. Just a cool electric guitar. Someone playing behind me. Uh, a lot of bass, so that's one row. Uh, you got some drums over there. Um, more bass, more crowded. I mean, I, I don't know anything about music to be honest. So, cool guitars, every, every, everywhere. Um, and more guitars, uh, like literally all guitars. So drum kits, bass in it. Really cool, actually. Like, Double ten thousand, five thousand, and oh, almost two thousand, two twenty thousand. So twenty thousand, ten, thirteen thousand, and five thousand. More drums, some piano, violin. I mean, literally everywhere. So if you know anything about music, well, you're welcome here. There's a cool one here. Like, welcome. Four. Five hundred dollars. Also, you got some cool CD records, pretty much everywhere. But these ones are not like in the junk; they are like they're in decent or good quality to mint quality. So you can see in Japanese right here. But uh, you have more like from the 80s, 70s. Johnny Case, for example, right here for five dollars. Um, a little bit more Mal Waldron. Uh, pretty much a lot of them but i think for cds you can find a, a like a a bunch of them um i forgot the name of the store but it's like a book of purchase for cds and you can see dvds over there cds and you can go around if you love music and and yeah that's pretty much uh it for this one and then now maybe let's go to the last one we'll go to um maybe toys and figurines just to see Let's take a look at Bukhoff and Obihoff. Uh, the problem, like you got to see, the music gets much louder in those stores. Like I'm very sorry if it's a bit loud, and I'm going to try to be as, um, you know, as clear as possible. But let's check. Um, so if you want on the first floor, or second floor, you have some well books. But if you don't speak Japanese, well, there's no really use except if you want to buy a Japanese book, but or Japanese manga. But you can find them literally any uh, everywhere so let's go to the third and fourth floor to see some toys and figurines so you can see here so we can see some uh, dragon ball uh, 
tools pretty much everywhere in the window. They are about from five to thirty dollars, so it's actually not not too bad to be honest. Not too bad. Um, and of course they come with of the boxes, so maybe that's why. But really affordable to be honest. Or oh, if you don't want these ones, you can also got some uh, one piece as well, and they are about a bit cheaper, five, six dollars, ten dollars. Oh, well, this one is 15. Um, and you have like some with boxes as well, is like, literally everywhere. You got some JoJo's as well, about 40 dollars. Um, more toys. Uh, we got some American toys as well, or well, the Avengers, like Thor, for example, $60. Some Star Wars ones, but they come with the boxes. Star Wars, like Darth Vader, with you know the samurai look, but it's ninety dollars more expensive. Uh, you got watches. Oh, you got a really cool. Oh, okay, okay, that's about uh, eight hundred dollars. This is Obi Wan Kenobi from Kenner. Uh, okay, I think it's like seventies or eighties, so it's very, very, very rare. Uh, I'll put a picture on eBay as well. Uh, what else? Uh, so GIGN, Eagles, more Star Wars. But so this one from Hasbro, but these are like maybe $10 on eBay. A uh, cool collection of the Pepsi Star Wars. Uh, if you are into that, more Pepsi as well. Right here for $20 with Darth Maul. Um, you get. Some more Star Wars here and other things. We got some the Iceman, uh, $8 made in China. This one, uh, some cool posters. Uh, I think I saw, yeah, the Batmogar. So, this is from Kenner. I think it's made in Mexico. It's about $50. 1994. This is actually pretty pretty cool. The Joker one as well. The Joker Toxic Lab. Uh, Five thousand, so about fifty dollars. Uh, made in China. This one. Jurassic Park. Uh, more Batman collection. The Fantastic Four for thirty dollars with the box. Uh, made in China too. You got some cool One Piece. Um, Figurines everywhere. Uh, oh, you get one uh, Luffy as well as all those everywhere for twenty dollars. So it's not not that bad. To be to be really honest, it's not that bad. I mean, the best one, the best shop to find figures like this is Mega yeah. Man for sure. Um, you got some one with boxes as well. For example, the Gogeta. Uh, for about fifteen dollars, you got also bigger figures or toys if you want. Piccolo, uh, these one are five dollars. Um, so it's pretty cool. The box nine anniversary, uh, it's about ten dollars. I mean, pretty much you can also find some uh, right here for five dollars, three dollars. So pretty cheap. And also, you have if you're into cars as well, you have a lot more over there. So, a bunch of cars as well. If you're a car collector, it's like literally everywhere. Also, like, this car that can talk. $200, uh, $300, $400. It's like literally everywhere. So, anyway, you can just take a look. You have some Hot Wheels as well. Hot Wheels. Pretty much MacLine everywhere for thirty dollars right here. That's pretty cool. Hundred dollars model. I mean, it's literally awesome. You can spend like the entire day right here. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, put a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, activate the bell. Uh, I wish I could show like way more of you know the different stores, but I could still I could could film like for ten hours literally, and so I try to film as much as possible with the time that I had. Otherwise, I'll come back and uh, let me know in the comment what you would like to see. Uh, I see you in the next video. Cheers.